Welcome back to Sunday Night Sports Wrap. One of the keys to this business, even if you don't go to the Jim Mannett Sportscasters Camp, is to get great information. We tried to get Fred Edelstein on the program. He declined, said he was too busy with some crummy little cable network that he was working for. And so we engaged the services of one of the real aces in this business. Sports Illustrated had him for a while. He was too good for them. He was on NBC, ABC. Even Musburger couldn't get this guy. Mark Barkincroft back with us. Good, Mark, to, good see to see you, Jeff. How are you doing? Oh, nice I'm doing to see good. you, Van Doug. How are you? Welcome. We've got some information for you tonight I think you're going to enjoy. Let me just tell you, first of all, as you know, in the National Football League, equipment is very, very difficult for the players to figure out. There's a difficult thing for all the... Oh, it, Which camera you're working is difficult to figure out. I want Ten this guys one here. Can you put me here. on that camera there? I like that camera. I have a professional. Did you have a jacket press, minutes. by the way? As a matter of fact, I had. I walked on it to the floor out here, got a little extra color in it, spilled some food on it. Let me start all over again if I could, okay? I'm sorry, a little bit nervous. First of all, it's important for you people to realize that equipment is a tough thing for players to figure out. The National Football League, okay? Now, first of all, uh, we talked about Brian Cox last week. He had a difficult time figuring out how to put that helmet on, and that's okay. Worked for the trainer in the offseason. But I got to tell you, this last week's game, Dwayne Dotson, and you'll be seeing Dwayne coming up here on the right side of the screen there. Dwayne Dotson sold his helmet at a memorabilia show, and so Dwayne got rid of him. He's got that nice sheen look on the head. See the bald head there? What I like about that is the fact the tax man's probably going to come after him. You're going to prison, Dwayne. Isn't that great? So he's sold it on a memorabilia show, Income Tax Evasion. <laughs> no, I think you already reported that. Uh, by the way, uh, did you get something to drink before you came on? <laughs> yeah, I did. It's a very, thanks a lot. All right, Steve Emmett. Big and, uh, bottles of wine outside. Uh, Steve and Emmett. I am drunk. <laughs> but, uh, a lot yeah. of people think it. Steve Emmett, uh, a lot of people think that this guy is a real tough guy that he played football all his life. Oh, yeah. Turns out he had a childhood acting career. The beautiful thing about Steve Edmund is he's a talented guy. Steve Edmund is so talented that, yes, you know, you saw him this past weekend in uh, action against the Jaguars, but Steve Edmund when he was a 14-year-old boy, believe it or not, had a career in show business. Steve Edmund was in Deliverance playing the banjo, and there he is now. Well, you can as see a evidence of that you can right see there. Evidence right the, the head got a little bit tinier there. The hair stayed the same. Never cut his hair. There he is. Deliverance, 1973, Burt Reynolds. You told us film. about a guy, and he did it off the air, but I can vouch for this. He told us about Chico Nelson, and he oh. said this guy was going to make the big crunching hit of the ball game on Friday night. You were right on the money. Let me tell you something. Chico Nelson is my main man. Wait till you see this hit that he lays on one of the Jaguars here in this game on Friday night. He's my main man, Chico Nelson. Look at that. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. The lights are out. Turn out the lights. The party's over. I'm going to use that, by the way, coming up in next week's show because it's something I think that you I... stole that well, from I No, I didn't steal anything. I never steal anything. <laughs> except for this coat, which I got out of Jim's closet. But, it's Lindsey Nelson's old jacket. He was buried in that well, jacket. Well, he was buried in it. You know, you know what grave robbing carries five to ten in this state? I didn't know that until I dug him out of his... Uh, but but anyway, so I got to say this about Tom Coughlin. Tom Coughlin, who is the coach of the Jaguars. Tom Coughlin's a disciplinarian. He's a guy that you need in the National Football League. Tom Coughlin's the kind of guy who, for instance, he buried his players up to, uh, up to their necks in sand during the offseason near an anthill. He backs over them with his car uh, if they do anything wrong. He's got a toilet that he keeps particularly filthy in his house, and they can scrub it out with a, uh, well, forget it. Well, well so Cotton, anyway, Cotton, I was going to say... <laughs> No, what I was going to say is that he's a disciplinarian. As a matter of fact, Todd Coughlin doesn't let his coaches wear sunglasses. And you want to know why? Because yeah. they've been up all night drinking with him. As a matter of fact, it's a Marine Corps thing that they learned. Few people know that. Well, how, few people you're know, talking about coaches on that. the hot seat in the league. Yes. Barry Switzer and the Dallas Cowboys. You think he's going to be able to duplicate, replicate what Jimmy Johnson was able to do? Okay. No. <laughs> Do I have to hit him on the back to get him started here? I'm Mark Barkentroff reporting. Incredible. Mark Barkentroff. Mark Ruff, you freezing on the switcher question? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I am freezing. Well, the, uh, the answer to your question is no. He's not going to be able to duplicate what Jimmy Johnson did. I don't know who Jimmy Johnson is, but I'm going to research that for next week's show. <laughs> okay. All right, Mark Barkencroft is only Mark Barkencroft can be, and I understand that the Mad Dog uh, in a week. Am I coming back life, next week? I think he signed him up for the football <laughs> okay, season. Terrific, Incredible okay. stuff. So, so I can bomb all I want, can't I? <laughs> that last question you bombed. Thank Sunday you Night Sports Wrap is brought to you in part by the Lucayan Beach Casino and Resort. It's okay. the only place right on the beach in Grand Bahama, 1-800-772-1226. They get a great rate. Give them a call. From the air. Well, Mad Dog, it was an adventure as always on Sunday Night Sports Ramp. Kind of difficult sometimes to get through the Barkencroft segment because his information is so incredibly tight.
that you tend not to believe it. And then his delivery could use some work as well. Now, if we had our therapy report, it would be appropriate for our next guest as, once again, by popular demand, Mark Barkencroft resurfaces. Now, he's been gone for a couple of weeks, and a lot of people were wondering about his whereabouts. They sent out Bob Stack, Unsolved Mysteries, and the crew from that show. And we found him <laughs> digging around the National Football League. He loves my humor. That's the good thing. Now, last time you were here, you established yourself as an expert, but came upon a question that a lot of people would have thought would have been basic knowledge of the National Football League. Jim threw you a toss about Jimmy Johnson and replacing Don Shula, and you said that. you were going to research the I Jimmy. remember the question. He said, who's Jimmy Johnson? Okay. <laughs> I went out, I researched it, went to Verena Del Rey. I just got off an airplane. That's why I look so disheveled. And by the way, thank you, Pat Riley, for the coat again. <laughs> but I got to tell you, Jimmy Johnson used to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, the University of Miami. Jim, I researched that. I did uh, some of Jimmy's laundry when I was out there. Also cleaned his pool. He's on Fox these days. All right, now, you always are talking about safety in the National Football League, not just for the players and Mad Dog's big theme about the surfaces, but some of the guys on the sidelines. Yeah, I'm sorry, you very sorry. Much. You know, and he had a couple of Heinekens before he popped right, on his right, set. Right. You know, Fred Edelstein right. never did that, never wiped his nose on oh, somebody's Fred. jacket. And where's Fred Edelstein now? But what about safety on the sidelines? Sometimes, Mark, you know exactly it can be right. very treacherous down there because you walk the sidelines with those spike shoes that you have. Exactly right. You're going to see a play right here where a cameraman gets hit right in the groinola. Right? Oh, look at that. Oh, did you see that? Now, here's what we've got to do with these players. This is the play we're looking at right here. The ball goes over. Watch that. Ouch. Boy, that's got to hurt. Held on to the camera, though. That's <laughs> he held on to the camera, but i got to tell you something, people. It's got to hurt. <laughs> and so what they're going to do, this is the 76th seed of the National Football League. Protective cups for cameramen. Protective receivers for the lady camera people on the sideline. I think it's going to help them out a heck of a lot. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. That's got to smart. <laughs> and it's picked you. up uh, your camera well, pointing thing, well, too. What, what right. a keen eye. Mark. All right. Thank you very much. What's your take on the Dolphins' win today? 52 to 14. Uh, 2 to 14. Bring it down. Distill it down. Well, let's distill that down. The Dolphins won today 52 to 14. And they're out there on the field today against a team that I have yet to figure out where they're going. Where are they going? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they going? Are they going to go up? Are they going to go down? Are they going to be a team of the future? Are they going to be a team that's just going to be mediocre? By the way, who were they? I didn't even see the game. What, was it the New England uh, Jets? Yeah, the, the Winnipeg uh, Jets. No, it's the Winnipeg Jets. I don't know. All right. Out there at Leon Hess, I love you. We're going to come up and try to pry you out of that closet, okay? Because he's running that carbon monoxide right into the car right now. But no, right, seriously, Mark, uh, they stink. All right. Mark Parkin oh, yeah. Croft and his monthly segment here on Santa Brand Sunday you, Night Sports Wrap, brought to you in part by the Texas Steakhouse, where their motto is, think big, eat big, right there on South Beach.